I celebrated my birthday recently and it got me thinking about birthdays past, how we should celebrate birthdays and birthday lessons I've learned over the years. How do you celebrate your birthday? Stay with me to dive into this topic. Hello everyone, my name is Dear Kola. Welcome back to this side of life. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining me today. On this side of life, we share and explore life lessons, faith and finances to help us live our best lives as we grow older. So today, I, as I said, I had my birthday recently and it got me thinking, you know, everybody has a birthday, right? Like everybody celebrates a birthday. And I celebrated mine recently. And um, some of the words that come to my mind on my birthday is thankfulness, appreciation, gratefulness, joy, friends, family, counting my blessings, and reflection, thinking, looking forward, looking back. So yeah, a lot of things, you know, just uh, go through your mind on your birthday. And I, I know I'm not the only one. I know everybody feels that way as well. And of course, there's the food. There's always cake and there's the love rice and fried rice and rice and soup, very plenty, like we say. And lots of uh, uh, just joy and happiness most of the time when you're celebrating your birthday. But like I said, it's also a time to reflect on the past and to look forward to the future. I know some people, they say that, uh, you know, a birthday is just any other day, like it, there's nothing special about a birthday. And uh, while others go to the extreme, spend a lot of money, have big parties, call people and they wine and dine and uh, just, uh, just celebrate. Um, I think the Bible says, Teach us to number our days that we might apply our hearts to wisdom. So I think as as we grow older and we count those years, we need to apply our hearts to wisdom, like the Bible says. And so because of that, I think that birthdays are special times. And um, for us to just take stock of our lives and just know that, you know, we do have limited period to spend on this earth and our birthdays should remind us of that and be times when we think about what are we doing with our lives and how do we want all these years to count for us here and also for eternity so yeah so i think birthdays are special and that they should be they should be uh, handled as such so as for me uh i just i was just reflecting on the years passed and the earliest birthday I can remember was when I was 10 years old and I remember it was a big 10 year old birthday party I remember the dress I was wearing that day because of course there's there are pictures uh, but I do remember and you know the cake and all the people that were there and the location it was at, at, at home where we were living back then and so I remember that and then the next one I kind of remember where I really did something was when I turned 21 and I was now a graduate at college and I decided what I wanted to do. So I remember calling friends and family and just a few friends and my family and celebrating my 21st birthday. So then after that, uh, I think it was when I turned 40 and uh, I already immigrated to Canada, I'd been a few years in Canada by then. And as I grew older, I didn't just want my birthday to be call people to eat and drink and just make merry. I thought that my birthday should be a time when I should do something that kind of people will remember, something that will make an impact on people's lives or impact on people around me. So 
I decided I wanted to do something extra, just not the typical birthday party. So I did uh, like a dinner theater where I invited a friend and we watched a theater presenta presentation and then had dinner afterwards. And then I also um, decided to give some money to charity, just to, to mark my birthday. So from then on, I started thinking that I wanted to do something different for my birthdays. So uh, the next birthday that's of note was the one that happened uh, like a few years ago where I had this great idea. I was going to do a scavenger hunt through the mall <laughs> and have my guests uh, hunt for things in the mall that we will then give to charity. So that was really a fun one, but I couldn't do it because of the pandemic. So now this, uh, this, past, this past birthday, I was like, okay, what's important to me <laughs> at this time of my life? And I thought, mm, it is, uh, my health is very important. And like I wanted to be uh, more physically active. So one night just thought, oh, I would like to take a hike uh, for my birthday and then have lunch afterwards. So that's what we did. So having said all that, that's my own birthday stories. I'm sure you all have different, <laughs> different stories about how, how you celebrated your birthday and what it meant to you and all that. Having said all that, I just wanted to um, just uh, kind of uh, discuss uh, some of the things I think we should be thinking about when we are celebrating our birthday, just to commemorate my own birthday. Um, so I think your birthday should be a time to be grateful for life because life is a gift. Like it's a privilege to be alive. And many people would like to be alive today and they are not. So it is a gift that we are alive and it is a time that we should be grateful for that life. And we should celebrate. I think we should celebrate our birthday. It is a time that we should count our blessings. You know, no matter what situation you are in, no matter what you are going through, I am sure there's something that you, you can count. You can look back and count the good things that have happened to you, the good things that you have been through. Yeah, everybody goes through bad things. But yeah, we should count our blessings like that song says. Count your blessings. Name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. So I think your birthday should be a time for you to count your blessings. And also, I think that your birthday is a time for you to check on where you are. Like, where are you? Where are you right now in your life? So your birthday should serve as a time for you to check yourself spiritually like where are you spiritually where are you in your walk with the lord where are you in terms of like your prayer life your bible study you know where are you in terms of your ministry like what are you doing for the kingdom i mean i think your birthday should be a time when you should reflect on those things and then uh, you should also think about where you are physically i mean in terms of your health you know as for me I know <clears throat> I want to be healthy. I want to be conscious of what I take and what I expend in terms of calories. I think it is a time, I mean, and, and also your birthday should be a time when maybe you make that appointment with your doctor to do your annual checkup. I do that. So my birthday kind of marks the time when I go for my annual checkup with my doctor. So I think your birthday should be some, should be a marker for that to check up on your physical health. Uh, also your financial health. Like, where are you financially? Where are you in terms of your goals, your financial goals? I mean, we're, we're still in this world, so we need to uh, prepare ourselves for the future. Where are you in terms of your plans for your future, for your family, for retirement? and all that, especially as you grow older, I think your birthday should be a time when you take stock of your financial health as well. And then finally, you should take stock of your emotional health. Is everything okay? I know nowadays there's a lot of talk about um, mental health. So 
And it's a time for you to take stock of your mental health. Are you, are you okay? Are you doing well? Are there any, any areas that need adjustment? Any areas that need more attention? So your birthday, I think, should be a time that you just do those things. Just make it a marker because your birthday comes every year. So it is just convenient for you to do this checkup every year on yourself and see how you're doing. And finally, I think your birthday should be a time when you should plan to make, to make an impact on your world, an impact in your community, an impact around you. Like, I mean, there's always a need. There's always somebody in need. There's always, there are always people in need. There's always something you can do. So I think in addition to all the merriment of your birthday, I think you should also think about what can I do? To make this, to make a positive impact on my environment, to make a positive impact on my community, something that people will remember, that people will remember for good. Like, is there uh, a cause that you are passionate about? Like, for example, um, <clears throat> in 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 uh, in our case, we have looked at uh, you know charities that take care of uh, the homeless. You know, you can give to them. You can go and volunteer you can spend your time like they always say you can either give your money you can give your time uh, or your your resources even for a cause that you that you believe in so think about something you can do on your birthday that will make an impact look around you there are always 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 people that could use your help even if you don't have the money if you don't have financial resources you can you can spend your time on your birthday you can go volunteer you can do something different that will make an impact on those around you so yeah those are my thoughts about birthdays and uh, i know everybody has <clears throat> different uh, thoughts about it so could, i would really love if you could comment down below and let me know what do you think how do you think we should celebrate our birthdays how have you celebrated your birthdays in the past? And what ideas can you provide to people that will make a good birthday celebration? I mean, it comes around every year, so we might as well make the best of it. So yeah, so those are my thoughts for today. Um, I wish everybody out there a, a happy birthday whenever their birthday comes around. And I hope that we all spend that time to do something really impactful in our world so that our birthdays will be remembered for good things, for great things, for great impact. Okay, so yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for spending the time today with me. Do please comment down below. Let me know what you think. And also like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. You know, your likes and your comments really help uh, the videos to reach uh, more people. So I would really appreciate that. So thank you so much. And until the next time, go out and make it the best days of your life. Bye.